Hey y'all, welcome back to another video here on the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about Elvis and Memphis recording, now known as the legendary Sun Records. July 1953, a young Elvis Presley stepped in Memphis recording and met a woman by the name of Marion Kiesker. She was the receptionist who worked for Sam Phillips, who owned Memphis recording. Elvis paid $4 to record two songs for a present for his mother. The songs were My Happiness and That's When Your Heartaches Begin, originally recorded by the Ink Spots. Marion did something while Elvis was recording these songs. She reached out and started the tape recorder to get a part of one of the songs to show Sam when he came back. A year later, Sam would call Elvis and invite him to do an audition with Bill Black and Scotty Moore, who were two local musicians there in Memphis, Tennessee. This coming Friday will be the 70th anniversary of when Elvis stepped in there July the 5th, 1954 and recorded That's Alright Mama written and recorded by Arthur Big Boy Crook. And he recorded it along with Bill Black and Scotty Moore. Like I said, two local musicians from Memphis. And the other side to that record was Blue Moon of Kentucky. That would start the legendary career of Elvis Presley. It's crazy to think that it has been 70 years since Elvis Presley was discovered by Sam Phillips. And if you look back on the life and legacy of Elvis, one song shaped what we now know as rock and roll. This is a picture of Elvis Presley, Sam Phillips in the middle, and Mary Kiesker, the woman who discovered Elvis Presley. And like I mentioned, Marion was the one who kind of discovered Elvis at the beginning in July 1953 when he went in there and recorded the two songs I had mentioned. And she had got a part of the songs to show Sam Phillips. And she said he Elvis was a good ballad singer. And that they waited a year to call Elvis and basically ask Elvis to do an audition like I mentioned. This is a picture of Elvis inside of the front area of Memphis recording now known as the legendary Sun Records. Multiple artists began their career at Sun Records, those including Johnny Cash, Roy Orbison, Carl Perkins, Harold Jenkins, which we all know now is Conway Twitty. Harold Lloyd Jenkins was Conway Twitty's real name. A lot of people may not know that about Conway. Um, I believe that's where he recorded um, it's only make-believe. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I believe that's where Conway recorded It's Only Make-Believe before he was signed to MGM Records. And like I mentioned, Johnny Cash started his career there. Roy Orbison, Carl Perkins, and a lot of legendary performers. Fun fact, Carl Perkins actually wrote one of Elvis's hits, Blue Suede Shoes. Carl Perkins recorded that song first. That song really didn't get a lot of traction with Carl Perkins, but when Elvis recorded Blue Suede Shoes, the song blew up completely. A year later, or a few years later, I believe in 1956, Elvis, Elvis's contract was sold to RCA Records for I believe $35,000 at that time which was a big amount of money back in 1956. It's still a decent amount of money now in 2024 but $35,000 in 1956 that, that was a lot of money. 
And like I mentioned, this coming Friday will be 70 years. It is insane to think it has been that long since the world was granted the music of Elvis Aaron Presley. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and let me know your favorite part of the video. And also, let me know your favorite Elvis song down in the comments. I hope you guys have a great day. Please remember to be kind, respectful to everybody, and I will catch you guys later.